Hey everybody, welcome to the Sway Corner. I made my very first fish pie over the weekend and decided to share this experience with you because it turned out to be super, super yummy. The ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Um, so I did the first, the fish I used for this recipe is the hake fillet with skin on. I started off by cutting the fillet into cubes as desired, then placed the butter in the hot wok. I fried the onions, ginger and garlics for about 4-5 mm, minutes until softened but not browned. I then added the flour to the mix and continued stirring for another minute or so. I added the fish to the wok and I know it's weird to do that because most people add flour and stuff first but I just prefer to do it that way. And approximately five to six minutes later, I added the fennel and the spice again to the sauce. And then let the heat do its thing. Oh boy, my mouth is watering just narrating this whole story. I like my food hot, so I added a bit of chili sauce, followed by frozen veggies, and then continued stirring. At this point, I turned down my stove to medium heat and waited for about 2-3 minutes. For a cheesy taste, I added the cheese spread. Oh, yummy! That brought it together so good, so, so good. Just look at that. I then removed the wok from the stove so to not overcook the filling as it still had to go. I mean to do some cooking time in the oven, so I didn't want to overcook anything. I then removed it, put it on the side and then turn my attention to the potatoes that have been boiling for a good I forgot the time but for a good minute no for a good like 20 or so minutes on the side I then drained out the water and then started mashing the potatoes after that I added a pinch of salt and a quarter I think meal of milk it's all in here somewhere I stirred that into the potatoes and mashed and continued stirring and stirring Please note, um, the stove is off um, because the potatoes have boiled nicely. I like, most people would prefer to do their potatoes or mash their potatoes when they are cold. I like to do it when they are slight, when they are warm. You can see the steam coming from the potatoes, right? So, yeah. I ended up adding the cheese spread to the potatoes. I prefer the cheese spread instead of the mash. And I prefer adding um, the spread, the cheese spread to my potatoes rather than butter because there's something about an aftertaste of butter in my mashed potatoes that I just don't like. Once I finished with that, I placed then the filling um, in the oven proof dish, uh, which is the sauce, the white fish sauce, and then added a bit of, I don't know why I did that, I just shredded a bit of cheese over the filling and then i added the mashed potatoes on mashed potatoes on top of that on top of the cheese just remember that i didn't properly mash all the potatoes nicely i wanted to there to be a bit of you know i just wanted an uneven texture i didn't want it to be all mashy and stuff i don't know if that makes sense but i hope it makes sense and then um after i layered all of that i placed more cheese on top of that whole thing and then Clean up the edges a little bit and then place the dish in a preheated oven for 40 minutes at 190 degrees. 90 degrees is the way that you say it, yes. Until like golden brown and bubbling. And 30, 40 minutes later, and voila! Fish pie, juicy, yummy. You can see the sauce running over on the side. You did it! You are the family favorite. I we served our mashed potatoes with a bit of sides, like I'm showing you on the dish here. I mean, on the I'm showing you a bit of that. Uh, but you can serve it with whatever. Usually, garlic bread or a good like green salad would have also sufficed. 
but I had people over so I added a bit more sides. Um, yep, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you really try this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, to leave your comment below and to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share the video with anybody who would like, who likes to cook. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next cooking video. I'll see you then. Ciao.